So let's talk a little bit more about how subsequent to McGregor's theory X, theory Y, uh, this idea of participative management led to this third way, if you will. It's uh, called theory Z. The theory Z is a management philosophy that stresses that employees participate in all aspects of the decision making in a company. Theory Z incorporates many elements associated with the Japanese approach to management versus the American approach that is in the 19, 1980s. Um, Japanese tend to look for trust or tend to offer trust and intimacy and allow participation of their workforces in quality circles and those sorts of things. And these ideas have been adapted increasingly into uh, organizations in the United States. In a theory Z organization, managers and workers, um, uh, managers and workers um, tend to share their responsibility. Uh, the management style is participative, more discussion. Employment is long term, often lifelong or assumed to be lifelong. Theory Z kind of management results in employees feeling that they own their they have ownership in the outcomes of the organization, perhaps not shareholder ownership, but that their their activities and their efforts are part of the success that the organization is feeling and finding. Research has found that such feelings of ownership produce positive attitudinal, attitudinal and behavioral effects in the employees. This table uh, shows traditional American management style, early, um, late, uh, the, the middle of the 20th century versus the theory Z or the Japanese management style, the sort of modified Japanese American management style. And you could sort of see where the, the focus of um, the different management styles are. So when you think about theory X, theory Y is manager styles, and then you have how organizations might focus. Theory Z is kind of like a a participation model that um, is uh, kind of grew out of that idea, uh, recognizing this sort of third way of participative management. Subsequently, there have been variations on this theory Z approach. Uh, companies use participative management, uh, get employees involved in decision making, particularly in certain areas like quality control and the like. Uh, these are where you have come up with quality circles, where decisions about how product quality or process quality could be improved. Um, these are meetings that occur regularly where you find out, you address problems that have arisen or timing issues that have come up, uh, maybe inventory problems, and discuss how the company might improve the process overall. They also um, modified in a number of ways uh, to get participation from management and employees. Um, they could also be applied in other areas like customer service and the like. And sometimes they're called self-directed teams. We talked about that in the group arena where you put the team together and their job as a team is to make sure the quality of the process or the customer service process is working well. It, um, it's kind of one of the um, uh, the instantiations of this theory Z model that you might see in a work environment that you're involved with. And those, are, you know, those require a different kind of leadership because every individual that's on the team is, uh, is empowered to push the team forward into improving uh, their quality and their, uh, the other kinds of, uh, of outcomes, whatever that self-directed team is charged to do. Um, we'll talk about a couple more important theories in the next lecture.